Hello guys, this is Only Abidong, and today I'm gonna be showcasing on all the new features and changes introduced in this month's free new Sims 4 update. This update was released on September 7th, 2021, and besides introducing new base game features, one of the big new additions in this update is a refresh for Spa Day, a Sims 4 pack that was released way back in 2015. What is a pack refresh you ask? Well, we'll see in a moment. But first, I'm gonna be showing you all the free new base game features first. Without further ado, let's take a look at them. First on the list is the introduction of nails in Create a Sim. That's right, you can now choose and edit your sim's nails with a selection of nail shapes to choose from. Nails are classified as accessories and there are two types of them, fingernails and toenails. For fingernails, there are four types of them for the base game with various selections of swatches. Here are all the available fingernails. For toenails, there is only one type of them. Here are all the different swatches for it. Besides adults, children and toddlers can also use different types of nail shapes and colors, but toddlers cannot have different toenails as of now. Of course, as always, with new features comes new problems. Apparently, there seems to be a minor overlapping texture issue if sims with nails were one of the few selections of existing outfits in the game. Even though it's not really game-breaking, I really hope this will be fixed in the future update. Next are new creative sim items. First on the list is this new Moroccan-inspired traditional outfits for adults. This outfit concept art was actually teased once on a Maxis livestream back in May, but apparently they forgot to mention about this addition in this month's update notes. Besides that, there's also this new pair of slippers for adults and this new beard added into the update. Like the outfit, they also weren't mentioned in the update notes. One more new feature that's not mentioned are new color swatches for several existing decorative objects in the base game. This includes these hanging bathrobes, towel racks, scented candles, nail polish set, and folded towels. This inclusion might be suited along with the spa day refresh because of the similar theme. Now we get to the free new features introduced as a part of spa day refresh. This means that from this point forward, all of the features that I'm gonna mention will only be available if you already own the spa day game pack before. If you plan to buy the pack later, the old features along with the new ones will be available in your game. This is the first time in The Sims history where a free update actually adds new contents and features to old packs. I really hope to see more of this applied to other packs in the future. Alright, let's see what's in store. The first on the list is new fingernails exclusive to Spa Day for your Sims. With this pack, there are many new different shapes of fingernails your Sims can wear. Different colors and patterns of the nails will also be available. One of the new fingernails have this little icon because this one is actually designed by Ebonix, a Sims custom content creator. Here are all the different swatches for the fingernail. Next is this new tracksuit in Create a Sim. This outfit is also included in the update exclusive to Spa Day and is available for all ages. Here are all the swatches for the outfit. After that is a new personality trait for your sims called High Maintenance. This trait makes it so that your sim will often make a fuss about trivial daily problems and will need pampering constantly. For example, they may become uncomfortable after sitting, accidentally drink pool or salt water when swimming that makes them uncomfortable, getting hangnails after cooking or gardening that makes them tense, getting shampoo in their eyes while showering that makes them uncomfortable, having really weird dreams after sleeping that makes them tense, hating the sun while they're outside that makes them angry, and getting water splashed when using the toilet that makes them uncomfortable. And if they constantly become uncomfortable, they will become really angry and have a really bad day. Once they've experienced at least one of these problems, they can complain about it to other sims which looks more like bragging than complaining to be honest. But this trait isn't all that bad though, because if they do any wellness activities like meditating, getting a massage, or doing yoga while still having one of the negative moodless I've mentioned, they will achieve catharsis for several hours and their needs will decay slower while in the state. They can also talk about their catharsis moments to other sims. In fact, sims with this trait will autonomously do wellness activities if the objects are available. Now we get to buy mode. This update adds in new objects as well. There are two new spa chairs and massage tables along with different color swatches for them. One of the spa chairs and massage tables are also portable, which will be really useful for a new feature that I'll explain later. There's also this new meditation pillow that can be used by sims to meditate. The original yoga mat is also getting new color swatches. There's also a new yoga mat with many new patterns to choose from. In addition of that, you can now buy instructor yoga mats for your home. It uses up more space and you can place regular yoga mats in the space so yoga instructor and students can use them for yoga classes. Besides wellness objects, there are also new decor objects and clutters, which includes these new shelves, 
and the Snail Care Set Clutter. Some existing decor objects from the pack also obtain new color swatches, which include these candles, soap decorations, and roll towels. Now we reach the new gameplay features. One of the new activities introduced in this update is getting manicures and pedicures. To get one, go to a spa community lot and click on a spa chair with a spa attendant present. Now besides for hand and foot massages, you can get manicures and pedicures here. There are many nail shapes and colors to choose from, ranging from coffin, round, stiletto, almond, short, and curated shape nails that's designed by Ebonix. You can also pick between glossy and matte color. The attendant will then file your nails first and then paint it. After doing it to both of your hands, your nails will finally be polished and you'll gain a happy moodlet. Yes. For pedicures, there are only one nail shape available but you can choose the colors for it. First, your feet will be soaked with warm water. Then the attendant will file all the nails and then paint it. Pedicures takes a bit longer to be done compared to manicure. They will also be happy after that. Do note that unlike the nails picked from Create a Sim, nails obtained from this will only last for around 24 hours until they wear out in which sims will be sad because of it. Also, be aware of what color you pick because having certain color preferences will also play a role. Sims will be even happier if you pick their light color, but will be angry if you pick their dislike color. Children and toddlers cannot get their nails done on spot chairs. Sims with at least level 6 in wellness skill can also perform manicure and pedicure on other sims, even at home if you own a spot chair. This update also introduces a new mini fridge. It basically functions the same as any other fridge and you can place decorative objects on top of it, but there's also some exclusive new features with this fridge. Sims can serve cucumber slices as quick meals from the fridge. They can also serve this drink called Power Sip Cucumber. If drunk, they will obtain a focus moodlet. This fridge is also portable and you can put it in your Sims inventory. One more new feature from this mini fridge is that you can buy facial masks from this. Yes, facial masks are also introduced to the pack in this update. Previously, you can only make sims wear them when they take a soaked bath which is purely cosmetic. Now they can be worn separately and gain its benefits. There are 6 types of facial masks available. Each of them has unique properties, but when worn, all of them will make negative moodlets go away faster, like tense, embarrassed, sad, and angry. This effect will still be active for a while even after sims take it off as long as you wear them for enough time. But don't wear it for too long though because doing so will make sims slightly uncomfortable. Facial masks will have better benefits if you store them inside a fridge first before applying. Also, if you apply too many facial masks in a row, your face will become irritated and you cannot apply another facial mask until your skin rash goes away. As stated before, different types of facial masks will have different effects. The relaxing facial mask doesn't really have any unique property. It will give the wearer a fine relaxed moodlet both while wearing and after removing it. The hydrating facial mask will give the wearer a happy moodlet after taking it off at the right time. But if worn by a mermaid, it'll replenish their hydration need and keep it full for 12 hours once you take it off at the right time. The same goes for Plant Sims water need if they use the same facial mask. For a rejuvenating facial mask, if you take off the mask just at the right time, you might get an energized moodlet and your H bar will be reduced by one day. The sun soothing facial mask will quickly get rid of sunburned skin if you sunbathe for too long in Sims 4 Island Living. Besides that, if a vampire applies it and then takes it off, they will gain a confident moodlet and be immune to sunlight for 12 hours. The gold facial mask will have this sparkle effect when worn. It will make them happy if you take it off, but if a sim wearing it has the materialistic trait, they will get confident. The animal facial mask works the same as the relaxing facial mask, but it'll have different animal patterns every time you wear it and toddlers and children can wear them as well. Toddlers will also gain this playful moodlet when wearing it, but if worn for too long, they will get angry. Keep in mind that not all sims enjoy all facial masks though. Sims who hate children will be tense when wearing animal facial masks. The same thing can happen to sims with the freegan trait wearing the gold facial mask. This update finally introduces several ways sims can gain money through wellness skill, a skill exclusive to spa day game pack. Now, sims with at least level 2 wellness skill can tend on spa chairs and massage table and over their surfaces to gain money. Remember the portable chairs and massage table? Yeah, this is when they come in handy. When tending, sims will stand around until someone asks for their service. It can either be hand massage, feet massage, manicures and pedicures for spa chairs, and various types of body massages for massage tables. You'll be paid after doing the service. If they're satisfied with your service, a sound effect will play and the customer will thank you. They might even give you some extra tips. If you cannot find any customers, you can try to promote your business on Simstagram to increase the chance of new customers to appear, though you cannot spam this interaction. You can also directly offer random sims nearby your service. 
you can filter out certain services. So if you, for example, want to solely focus on doing manicures and pedicures, you can disable all massages services. You can do this side hustle anywhere, but I suggest doing it in an actual spa as more potential customers will be there. Additionally, you can also hire massage therapists outside of the spa to stay around on the lot and do massages privately. Besides doing massages and nails, you can also make some money by teaching yoga classes and hosting meditations once you've reached level 2 wellness skill. Before the update, you can only participate in yoga classes in spas. Now you can teach your own yoga class by using the instructor yoga mat. You can start a public yoga class where all sims can attend or private class where only selected sims can attend. For public classes, sims nearby may come and attend your routine. But if no one is attending, you can still invite sims manually. They will also bring their own yoga mats if you don't place any. The yoga class will go on for quite a while. The students will follow whatever poses you're doing. After the class finishes, your sim will gain money depending on the number of participants there. They might even give you extra tips if you're doing a very good job. It's not all good though. You can also get negative feedbacks and they will even refuse to pay your service if you're really bad at it. You can also lead yoga routine instead of teaching where you can basically do the same thing but you won't get any money in the end. Besides that, you can also hire private yoga instructors outside of the spa. Once they arrive, you can request which yoga routine you want to do in which they will guide you and others through it. As I stated before, you can also gain money by hosting guided meditations. Guided meditations is actually a new activity because you cannot lead nor join any guided meditations before this update. Sims can use any regular meditations tool to start. You can host public and private which works the same like the yoga classes. Other sims will attend the public guided meditation. But like before, you can manually invite them as well. Once it starts, all the sims will begin meditating together. But the leader will give some advices to the students while meditating. After the session, you'll be paid depending on the number of participants. You can also lead meditations and like before, you won't get any money after doing this. This update introduces three brand new aspirations in the new aspiration category called Wellness. If chosen in Create a Sim, they will get a new aspiration trait called Spa Membership. With this, all spa services used by the Sim will be completely free. Unlike most aspirations, these three new aspirations only have one milestone to complete and that's that. The first aspiration is self-care specialist. This aspiration focuses on reaping as much profit as you can from mastering the wellness skill. If you complete the aspiration, your sim will gain the self-care expertise reward trait. With this, they will make much more money for offering wellness services. The second aspiration is Zen Guru. This aspiration focuses on helping others gain their zen but without reaping any profits from it. Once completed, your sim will gain the Calming Aura reward trait. This trait lets them do this new self-interaction called Emanate Calming Aura, which will calm sims around them for a while, making them happy. The third aspiration is Inner Peace. This aspiration focuses on improving their own self and gain inner peace. If completed, your sim will gain the Clear Perspective reward trait. With this, your sim will unlock another new self-interaction called Have a Moment of Clarity, which will make all active negative moodlets go away almost immediately. Child sims can also do some wellness activities now. First is doing yoga. This activity increases children's motor and mental skill. They can only perform 5 yoga poses and the only yoga routine they can do is family friendly, which will give confident moodlet if performed. While doing yoga, they may also obtain some playful moodlets. Children can also meditate now. Meditating will increase children's mental skill. Once they've reached level 5 of mental skill, a greenish aura can be seen flowing around the child, though they won't be able to hover and teleport while meditating. If you have parenthood game pack, doing yoga and meditating will increase their emotional control value. They can even lead yoga routine if they have level 2 motor skill or guided meditation if they have level 2 mental skill, but they won't be able to gain money from it. As an addition, child sims can now set wellness activity as their likes or dislikes in Create Sim. There are also several small additions for spa day in this update. A new relax interaction can be done on spa chairs. Sims will soak their feet in warm water without needing to do the entire pedicure routine. Some new lessons menu will appear under the spa day category about these new features. You can read them to know more about it. New sentiments regarding wellness activities have also been added in this update. And finally, the incense object is now portable so you can store them in your sims inventory. So those are all the new features introduced in the spa day refresh. Now I'm gonna be showing you all the small changes and bug fixes in this update, which are 
fix an issue where sims will lose their name when visiting a lot, especially the god's house for some reason. Fix an issue where sims cannot order food or drinks autonomously. Sims will no longer do fitness and dancing activities autonomously even if they dislike them. Previously, the mega window double budget grand deluxe delight missed a few swatches, this has been fixed. Previously, thin unibrows were exclusive to feminine sims while thick unibrows were exclusive to masculine sims. This has been changed so that all sims can have both types of unibrows. Fix an issue where there are awkwardly placed invisible slots under the all of the things table where you can place small objects there. New games should no longer experience the automatic generation of empty households and the ensuing save size increase and performance lag that this causes. Fix an issue where custom content chairs will create sims rooting issues when slotted with certain objects. In Get to Work, a hairstyle that was tagged incorrectly has been fixed, so it'll appear in the updo hairstyle category. In Eco Lifestyle, fixed an issue where the community voting board was missing from pennies across packs in build mode. In Dream Home Decorator, sims who are sleeping might wake up and admire their like decor style. This has been fixed, so it'll no longer happen. And that is it for the September 2020 update. As always, link to the full update notes is already in the description. Before ending this video, I want to give a quick mention to the small Sims 4 update that was released back in August 24th. The only thing this update added was this new painting titled Hair Vision. This painting is actually a collaboration because the painting is created by a real-life artist, Oni Lyle. The link to the full update notes for the update is also in the description. So that is it for the update showcase. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. I hope you like it and if you do, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. See you later!